And the comet, <coughs> the comet is home. That's my dad's flag. It is nearly 23 years of service to the Kenner Police Department. Come down lower. The picture he kept. Me when I was one year old. <laughs> the two of us together. Okay. <laughs> now how about a bench update? Well, more like a stash update because I really haven't been working on anything lately. So let's get started. Alright, so I just got this in today. Uh, Chris Cotell over at Classic Plastic used them and I thought hmm I have a figure that these would look pretty good in these things are tiny I don't even know if it's gonna focus on them there's all different colors it's uh what is that a spider <laughs> it's 124 scale uh, and that's the same scale as let me get her out. That's her. Not finished painting her up, uh, but I did go ahead and give her some color. And just try to get those eyes in there. And figure out how to paint the how to paint her stockings so that they look a little dark without actually being as black as her shoes and her hair. So thanks, Chris. I had to get uh, get her finished up. All right, so I've been watching our friend Doug, Billy's NASCAR models, and uh, I used to build a lot of NASCAR models when I was uh, when I was a Ute. Mostly MPCs. I think they were all MPCs. They all had the same floor pan. Only thing different on them really was the body and the motor. But uh, this is a Salvino's Jr. and this is this is not a Repop MPC kit. This is a whole lot different. Uh, it comes with three different sets of wheels, one chrome, and two different painted. Uh, I mean, not painted, um, cast in white, uh, slot whites, and solid whites. And it comes with uh, what else? A lot of different stuff there. Different uh, chrome grill, or you can use a painted grill. Uh, it's a pretty nice kit. Uh, that's one I, I'll have to get to. Back when NASCAR was fun to watch, when it wasn't, uh, <laughs> dare I say, a, a socialist utopia of racing, where everybody's the same, every car is the same. And only three different cars are allowed to race. So, yeah, this is back when NASCAR was fun to watch. Thanks, Doug. <laughs> All right, here's a 69 GTX. The only reason I got it because I like this car. I always did like the GTX. And the 69 was a great-looking car. And this is, this, is not, this is not a crap AMT kit. When I look through it, uh, there's different options of engines, you know, a 440, single four barrel, six pack. You can put a Hemi in it with the regular manifold or the cross ram manifold. So, um, yeah, this is a really nice kit. And the price was the price was good, so I went ahead and got it just because I didn't have one. <laughs> so I did look through it. I probably as nice a kit as the. 67 Comet you just saw and the uh, Duster and the 71 Charger all great AMT kits so I'll be getting to that one who knows when all right here's another AMT another damn nice kit comes with the slant 6 or 
a 426 wedge. I might be doing a, well, it's a hard top. I might make it like Grandma's Sleeper. You know, paint it in some old man tan like that. Wheel covers and with a, with a 426 in it. Because I could use that slant six on another kit that I got that didn't come with an engine. Just came with pieces of a slant six. So I've looked through this one. Very nice kit. This is a repop by round two. Comes with some goofy ass decals. Some you could use. And yes, this is a round two reissue. Not a reissue, a redo. So very nice kit. I got this one up in Missouri. Uh, this little hobby shop called, well, I'll show you in a minute. Um, all kind of kits plastic wood da vinci kits wooden kits balsa wood kits flyable boats pretty much anything you want at a little hobby shop nice paint selection so this is one i got up there all right there's a hobby shop we went to took a trip up from harrison to uh that place nice little hobby shop and there's the other one I got there Pan Am Clipper the Pacific Clipper this one actually made a round-the-world flight uh, due to the outset of World War II uh, lost a couple of clipper ships before this one was dispatched home without flying uh, through the Pacific as a her story right here. Right here. Just in case you want to pause it and check it out. It has a fascinating story. And I kind of like the clippers. So we got that one up in Missouri. Alright, so I don't know if I showed this one before. But uh, yeah, I got another one because I kind of ruined the last one. <laughs> so I'm not going to ruin this one. I think I did show this one. I'm not really sure. And I'm ready for next year's egg playing group build. I thought this one looked pretty cool. It's gonna be, uh, I don't know how how those decals are gonna work. <laughs> you know, Hasegawa decals aren't the uh, easiest to work with, but I thought this was a pretty cool little F86. Girl not included again. Um, now watching Daniel's um, slideshow from the uh, A Plane Group build of this year, uh, I thought, hmm, I got to get ready for next year. So we are. All right, moving bigger. I had to get another shuttle just because. I have two other ones, but one of them's not really all that good. It's an old Eshi, and it's, I don't know, detail on it's not the greatest. So, these Ravels aren't the greatest either. Uh, but, price was okay, so I got me another one. I still have to do Challenger and Enterprise. And I'll have an extra one, because I have to put that Eshi together. One of my favorite planes in the whole world. That's our 71 Blackbird. It's a Hasegawa kit. Uh, so I checked it out. And it is molded in black. But uh, there's... You know, you have regular seams on aircraft. This one does not because it's an over-under... Uh, kit. I mean, you don't put the fuselage halves together like other ones your top goes over the bottom and where it meets where it meets right around hold on a second where it meets right here on the kit there's a little overlip right here there's an actual seam line on the real plane so guess what no filler on <laughs> on an airplane wow might not know how to act. So it's a pretty nice Hasegawa kit. I might get some extra decals for it. 
uh, just because. And I've always wanted a DC-8 kit, but those damn things are pricey. And this one, this one wasn't really all that cheap, but uh, I figured they're not gonna get, uh, they're not gonna get cheaper. So I went ahead and got one. And this kit is, this look how big that box is. The, the, it's a 144 scale and uh, it's almost the length of the box it's a I've got other 144s that aren't this big so this this is going to be a pretty nice kit plus it being a mini craft uh, I've already opened it and checked it out it's pretty de pretty decent so this is this is what it came in and uh that's where it came from. Anybody in a stamp collecting, let me know. I'll send you some stamps. And then the kit coming right up. And that's what was in the box. The Soviet space shuttle, the Buran. Shame it only flew once. It would have been, I think it would have been pretty cool to have, uh, have a couple of them hours and theirs flying around but uh, this thing flew once I think they made three of them they're all in storage uh, the roof fell in where they were storing them they've been in storage for decades and that's a damn shame well I was already retired too so there you go arc models first this will be my first arc model I opened it up checked it out it's pretty good kit um, so I can't wait to put that one together. <laughs> the Buran. Straight from the former Soviet Union. Now known as the Russian Federation. And we got one more. I have to back way up for this one. It's a Ravel 1... What? 72? 172 shuttle. Uh, yeah, I had to have it. <laughs> I don't know why. Kids have grown by what a hundred and over 140. And I'm still I got one more one more coming. It's a 707 from Arc Models. So um yeah, this thing is massive. Big ass 172 shuttle. Uh that's pretty much it. Oh, nope, there's two more. I saved these two for last. Very special. Somebody sent them to me uh, without me asking <laughs> or saying anything. So, uh, hold on. All right, so I got a package one day. I said, huh, I didn't order anything. And then I looked at the uh, return address. I'm like, uh, come on, man. <laughs> Why'd you do that? <laughs> Anyway, when you see the next one, you might figure out you might figure out who sent it. And uh, I can't thank you enough, brother, because I didn't have I have the seventy double AR, uh, the seventy Hemi Cuda, but I didn't have this one. So uh, I appreciate that, and there's one more. So he also sent this one. I think he had two of them. He sent me one. And but this one is already painted. So now that you see the body and paint it, if you ever watched his videos, follow his channel, which you should, you probably know who sent it to me. I appreciate you, Cap. You don't know how much. So that's pretty much it. What's going on here? The only thing I'm doing... Hold on. The only thing I'm working on is this one. And it's slow progress. Yeah, just because. Just because the Kenneth Police Department is playing hard to get. 
can't get a hold of anybody over there to get the right markings on the car to have decals made for it. You know, star on the door, phone number, other markings on it. And, uh, and uh, how the car was painted. I know the, the doors were white, but I'm not sure if the hood and the trunk was white along with the doors because the rest of it was painted this really strange green not quite not quite that green and not bright like that green kind of close to this uh let's see if there's a another one nope it's an extra thin regular extra thin so it's a, a weird color green it was green that had a lot of yellow in it it was called Yenny Green. <laughs> they named it after the mayor of Kenner way back in the late 60s, early 70s when the cars were odd green and white. I was just trying to find a picture of one of the old cars as a pain in the ass because I haven't found any on the internet. It's like Kenner's trying to scrub history of those green and white cars. They only want, to, want you to know they have black and whites, but... I had to find that green and white. This will be, this will be a tribute to my dad. And uh, I'll see what I can do. I could mix up the green. I just need to know where it was on the car. And uh, I need to get the decals made up. So as, as soon as I find out where the markings were and what they were, I can, I can have see if Spencer could make me some decals for the car so that's pretty much all I'm working on look a new addition another new addition <laughs> this is Hawkeye hey little man Hawkeye he's busy <laughs> look at that man I got three new additions under the not under, but in the shed under, under my um, piece of bench over there. Three little babies. I say, hey, he doesn't say, he doesn't say a lot. I don't think I've ever heard him say anything. So, as a Hawkeye and me and us. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you.